Hey guys, it's me Chris from Kazumi Chan Productions, and if you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe. This was a direct uh, 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 question about my whole 12 and Anime Studio 11.2. I'm going to show you how I print my uh, rigs. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, you can ignore this one. So right now you cannot hear the sound, but that's okay. We're gonna just study this uh, rig right here, which I already have made uh, beforehand. Let me get this step out of the way. And this uh, video should be up in uh, like 12 hours or so, uh, depending on how uh, well I do, do stuff. So to begin with, first what you need to do is just have a character just like this one. Right. So now with this character, I already rigged it. <coughs> with um, the bones and the everything else, excuse me. And now let's say if you want to pair in this um, bone so that you got the nice hip action or whatever. See that right there? Let's actually study how I set that up real fast. Go over to Reparent, and if I zoom in here, you'll see all these bones. I hopefully on screen though. Um, I'm not sure how well this broadcast is doing. So the, you see here where it's pointing into all these bones are pointing into this main bone. Well, this is called your base bone right here. Now, what I did was just make a smart uh, bone called the tip. And we'll go into the hip. Now, on frame one, you're going to have to uh, rotate the bone and set up the angle constra bone constraints. And then over here, I just, I GM put the 25 to 25. It also depends on what character you're trying to make too. But anyway, um, let's close this for right now. And then if you scroll through the timeline, you'll see that I had to place the, the natural position of the bone um, to 24 frames and then at the frame 48 now I had uh, rotated these bones right here and with these two bright blue bones I had uh, repositioned them into the timeline I had made the same thing. And now, um, for this upper shirt thing, let's go into the body. I did the same thing now. Regardless of whether you use Anime Studio or Moho 12 Pro, um, I just manipulated the points. I'm um, one and through 24 and then 48 so at the end if I go out into this timeline again you won't hear any audio so do you all so do you all see uh, the character uh, 
moving. And so with this side that I can uh, rotate the hips um, from side to side. So I can do something like that, and then it will actually um, um, rotate the hips naturally. But then, you know, if this was a tutorial on how to parent the bones in your rig, just real fast. It's not complete or anything. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. This is Chris from Kizumi Cam Productions. And if you like anything here, please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel for new content mostly every day. And see you next time. Bye.